Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Air Jordan 1 Retro in the Laney colorway. Now as you can see, because this is one of those models with the Nike Air branding as opposed to a Jumpman on the tongue, it comes in a red and black Nike box as opposed to a black and white Jordan box. So you can see the tag right here. Um, the shoe is listed as the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. OG basically just refers to the Nike tag instead of the Jumpman tag. Uh, the colorway is Varsity Maze, Game Royal and White, which again is the Laney colorway. Size 9 US, and because this is a Canadian pair, the retail price sticker is not listed. But these guys, when they came out, I believe retailed for about $140 US. Now inside the box, they do include an extra set of yellow laces. I'll show you what these look like on the shoes a little bit later in the video. And other than that, in the box, all you're going to find are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these out of the box really quickly and take a closer look at the Laney Jordan 1. Now this is by no means a new release, a new colorway release for the Jordan 1. Obviously new colors of this shoe are always coming out, but this came out several months ago. I'm not even sure how long exactly, alongside the Jordan 5 in the Laney color, which was the all white Jordan 5 with the blue and yellow outsole or midsole, I should say. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with it. This came out alongside that shoe. I wanted to get them on the launch day. Like I said, $140 is expensive for a pair of Jordan 1s. And basically what Jordan brand slash Nike does is they put that Nike Air branding on the tongue, which I guess means a, means a lot to certain people. Um, and they hike up the price of the Jordan 1, $30 to $40, depending on the colorway. And people buy them anyways. There's really nothing else that's special about the shoe. They just swap out a Jumpman logo for a Nike Air logo and increase the price of the shoe by $40. Doesn't cost them any extra, but they're able to get an extra $40 out of you. So that's, uh, for that reason, it's kind of a little bit unreasonable that the shoes cost what they cost, but that's besides the point. I tried to get them at retail price on the launch day, was unsuccessful. They sold out pretty much instantly. Um, it's kind of hit or miss when you try to get some of these shoes online. Um, obviously they went up pretty much soon after that for crazy reseller prices. People were asking $200, um, $160, $180, and I just wasn't down to pay over retail on a price that on a shoe that I thought was overpriced in the first place. So I kind of took my time. I waited. It's a colorway that I've had my eye on pretty much ever since. And I was lucky enough to come across a pair for about $100. Um, so I snagged them, brand new condition. Um, and I have to say, I'm really, really happy that I finally have a pair and I waited and got a fair price. I got them for under retail, which is pretty good for pretty much any Jordan retro model, especially one that was relatively high desire, highly desirable like this colorway right here. Not obviously not the most anticipated Jordan of the year, but one that enough people wanted. And I'm happy that I got them under retail. You don't get that experience or that opportunity um, all the time with retro Jordans. So as far as this colorway is concerned, it features obviously red and yellow across the entire upper. And as far as quality is concerned, I'm actually really happy with these. This is kind of my first time seeing them in person. And Jordan 1 seem to have pretty nice quality overall as far as the materials that they use. It's got a really nice smooth leather in yellow, kind of outlining all the shoe as you guys can see. It's a Jordan 1 design, so it's nothing too crazy here. But the quality of the leather is nothing spectacular, but it's a lot nicer than what you're going to find on the higher number Jordans, at least some of the ones that I've picked up um, over the last year or so. And then the blue is actually a really nice suede material, really nice suede. And again, you have that kind of variation of texture between the very vibrant blue and the very vibrant yellow. So it just has a nice pop to it overall. And obviously it's that simple Jordan 1 silhouette that I'm personally a really big fan of. Your blue laces to go along with the yellow ones they include. That kind of smooth nylon tongue with your red and yellow, uh, sorry, not red, blue and yellow Nike Air branding right there. Um, on this little tab right here. The heel liner is a blue mesh and you also have a blue insole with your yellow Nike Air branding that I don't think you guys can see. Oh, there it is. There's the yellow Nike Air branding. Costs an extra $40, but I guess it's worth it to some people. Um, and overall, just really, really nice shoe. This is a high Jordan 1, um, which essentially means it's the highest variation. I have a pair of mids as well and the difference is very, very minimal. It's essentially this little piece here above the yellow comes up ever so slightly higher. So you're talking about that much of a difference between the mids and the highs. So if you were concerned about that, regardless of 
uh, if you were trying to choose between two colorways, I guess, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. The difference is very, very minimal. You're not going to really notice a difference in terms of visuals, especially when you're wearing them. So again, the highs and the mids really makes no difference to me. The midsole is all white. As you can see, you have your blue nylon stitching kind of accenting that white midsole. And then the entire outsole is a solid yellow color. And of course, it's a standard Jordan 1 bottom with your Nike branding. So overall, really nice looking shoe. One of the more vibrant Jordan 1s we've seen all year. And like I said, one that I've really been waiting on for a long time and finally have in my possession. So that's pretty much it as far as all the close-up details are concerned. And next, we'll move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look and of course, how they fit. All right, here's a look at the Jordan 1 Laney's on feet with a pair of shorts. And Jordan 1s are just some of those shoes that you can wear with pretty much anything. They're available in so many different colorways that you can always find one that you like the look of. And with this colorway in particular, it's obviously very vibrant. The combination of yellow and blue is probably not something that you're going to want to wear every day. But to me, they just look really, really good. You can see I swapped in the extra yellow laces just so you can see what they look like. Um, I think I still prefer the blue ones, but the yellow ones don't look too bad either. I'm actually a little bit surprised by how good they actually look. And overall, it's just a really simple, really clean looking shoe that I'm personally a big fan of. Definitely one of my personal favorite Jordans to wear. As far as the fit and sizing is concerned, Jordan 1s have a pretty generous fit. They fit pretty much everybody very, very comfortably. There's not a lot of extra cushioning to them, but that's not really too big of a deal unless you're actually planning on playing basketball in them, which most people don't do anymore. But for casual wear, they are plenty comfortable if you ask me. And as far as sizing is concerned, these are a 9 instead of my usual 9.5 just because that's what I was able to get them at for this particular price. Um, no big deal, they fit pretty snug going half a size down, but still comfortable enough. And because they are made from natural materials, even though they're a little bit snug, I'm pretty confident they are going to stretch a little bit after I wear them for a couple of hours. Overall, I would recommend going true to size if you're planning on ordering a pair, but if you have to go half size up, it's not that big a deal, or even half a size down, as long as you don't have excessively wide feet, you should be good to go. All right, here's a look at the Jordan 1s on feet with a pair of pants. And again, they're Jordan 1s. They have a very clean styling about them. They're available in tons of different colors. And for that reason, it's very versatile in terms of what you can wear them with. Obviously, at this point in time, the Jordan 1's been around for a while and it is used mostly as a casual wear shoe. And if you get it in some of the more simple colorways, it's definitely a shoe that you can wear every single day. Um, this is probably not the colorway to go for if you plan on doing that. But again, it's just a really clean, simple looking shoe that you can't go wrong with at all. All right, guys, sit for my review of the Air Jordan 1.